Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Welcome learners. My name is Stephen Kariungi. Today we continue with our chemistry lesson. And the topic of discussion is the structure of the atom and the periodic table. Now, during our first lesson, we defined what is an atom. Uh, we also named uh, the three subatomic particles that are found within the atom. That is the protons, the electrons, and the neutrons. We also looked at their charges. Now, today I want us to look at examples of atoms, and then we, are, we shall also be able to arrange uh, the protons, the electrons, and the neutrons. So we have examples of atoms. Uh, we will start with the smallest atoms, and uh, the first one is hydrogen, hydrogen atom. This is the smallest atom. It's the smallest atom. It has one proton. It also has one electron and it has zero neutron. So we're going to have a diagram. So in this hydrogen atom, we shall have 1p in the nucleus, 0n, that is 0 neutrons, and then 1e, one electron, within the energy levels. Remember we said that electrons are not found within the nucleus. They are found in the region outside the nucleus, which we, which we call the energy levels. So one proton, zero neutrons, and one electron. So hydrogen is the smallest atom. So this is a, a hydrogen atom. So the next uh, example, uh, we'll take uh, the second in terms of uh, the size, and this is a helium atom. So this is the second from hydrogen in terms of the size or in terms of uh, being small in size. So we are saying that uh, helium is the second from hydrogen in terms of being small in size. In terms of the subatomic particles, uh, this one has, uh, it has uh, two protons. Remember hydrogen had one. This one has two protons. It also has two electrons. And it has two neutrons. So two electrons, two neutrons, two protons. So in terms of the, the structure, so we have 2p in the nucleus, we have 2n in the nucleus as well, and then the electrons are in the energy levels, so we have 2e, that is two electrons in the energy level. So this shows a helium atom. So those two are examples of the smallest atoms that we have. We have hydrogen and helium. And hydrogen, one proton, one electron, it has no neutrons. 
uh, for the case of uh, helium, two protons, two electrons, and uh, two uh, neutrons. Now, uh, I want us to introduce uh, uh, something else. Uh, besides the protons, electrons, and the neutrons, plus their charges, we also want to find out what is the mass. What is the mass? So we're going to look at uh, the mass. We can talk about uh, is a table showing the charges and the mass of subatomic particles. So we'll have the particle, its charge, and its, a rel its a relative mass. So for example, the particle, we have the proton, the charge is positive, it has a relative mass of 1. Then we have the electron, it's a negative charge, it has a relative mass of 1 divided by 1840 and we say that this one is negligible it's a very small mass and then we say that it is negligible then we look at the neutron it has no charge or oh, the charge is zero and then it has also a mass of 1. So basically what we are saying is that uh, this table summarizes uh, the charge of each particle. Proton has a charge that is positive, a relative mass of 1. Electron has a negative charge, but a negligible mass, a very small mass. 1 divided by 1,840 is a very small mass. A neutron has no charge, but it has a mass of 1. So by looking at uh, this table, we can say that the proton and the neutron they are the ones that contribute to the charges. No, they are the ones that contribute to the masses, sorry. They are the ones that contribute to the masses because they are the ones that have a, a mass of one, the relative mass. But proton and the electron, they have charges. They have charges. So these are the ones that contribute to the charges of an atom. So a proton is positive, an electron is negative. A neutron has no charge, so it, it's neither positive nor uh, negative. Now, that takes us to the next uh, area. Of our discussion and say that uh, the number of protons in an atom is always equal is always equal to the number of electrons So from the examples that we have seen, the number of protons for helium was 2, 
the electrons also are two. In the case of hydrogen, the protons was one and the electron was one. So the number of protons in an atom or the number of positive charges is always equal to the number of electrons. These are the negative charges in an atom. And therefore, therefore, we can say that an atom is electrically neutral, meaning that it has no charge. It has no charge because the protons or the positive charges are cancelled by the negative charges. So the number of protons, the number of protons is always equal to the number of electrons. So we're going to have a, an assignment on this. So the first question, determine the relative mass and charge of A, protons, you write the in fact, of a proton, an electron, and a neutron. So on this, you'll have the mass and the charge for each. So the mass comes first. Then the charge comes second. Then the second question, explain why an atom is said to be electrically neutral. So we'll stop there until next time. Goodbye.